Happy Monday, everyone. Resale Rabbit here. $1.19 a gallon for gas. That is insane. You know what else is insane? The number of eBay orders I had over the weekend. We're going to have a busy day shipping. That's basically all I'm going to have time to do is ship. So I went to a garage sale this weekend. Everything was free. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Cost nothing. They didn't say it was free. I just walked in and took everything. No, I'm kidding. Um, basically, they posted and they said, we're moving across the country. Goodwill's closed, so everything's free. And we loaded up. Ton of groceries, too. I was excited about that. Doesn't matter how much money you make. If you can get things like groceries for free, it's a win. So, loaded up on that. Also got some stuff to bring here to sell. Uh, what else happened this weekend? That's really about it. Went hiking. Went to the beach. Found a car in a ravine. So, uh, of course, I got in. Here's what it looked like. So now we're gonna get to eBay orders. We had a lot. You guys are really amazing. 85 orders for over two grand. This is gonna keep me busy all day, I guarantee it. Just had another one come through, 86 for almost 2,100 bucks. So this video is gonna be like four hours long, so I'm going to cut a lot of it out. All right, we're looking for JBT2. There's one, and 52-1 right here. So these two, hold on, let me get the price. These two sold for a total of $27.48. And C3, we're looking for a set of scrubs. Probably gonna be these size large. That's extra small, extra small. Maybe they're, maybe they're not those. What about these? size large so it must be these i thought they were black in the picture we'll double check these came from an amazon palette and no gray that's correct sold for 18 bucks sold a skirt from dress barn original retail is 45 paid a buck and sold it for 18. i'm thinking we're looking for this yes this wax heater sold for 26 to a viewer, I'm pretty sure it was 26, I'll have to double check, but sold to a viewer, sold to Maria. She says, thank you for accepting my offer. By the way, I love watching your videos. They're really great to watch, especially during this time. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Maria. I appreciate it. Here's one that's been sitting for quite a while. Right here, this is an electronic water pump. Oh, I see, so you just put it on top of one of those bottles. Oh, that's kind of neat. Sold for 15. I'm pretty sure this came from Shopco, but I don't see a price on it. I'm almost certain this came out of Shopco though. Sold for 15 and it's been here for a while. Look at that shelf starting to clear out. Now in C1, we're looking for some pajama bottoms. It doesn't say a size. It's gonna be these. So I gotta look at the listing. There might not be a size, maybe that's why. Let's, let me take a look at the listing. It's odd he doesn't have it in the title, but they're a size medium. I grabbed the size small, so I swapped that out quick. That sold for, hold on, 11 bucks, and they came on the Amazon pallet. Sold another Mishi bag. Ooh, I think it's right on top here. It is. The Valerie sold for $14.99. Once again, this is just a shell that goes on a bag, so you can change how it looks. I paid 15 bucks for a whole box full of them. And you know, I sell one every month or two. So they're not, they're not moving fast, but the very first one that sold, I broke even on the whole box. So not too worried about that. This is the second one in the past week though that I've sold. Next, I think I may have sold all of these. I counted when I was scrolling through, I think seven. So I am going to just pull the whole box out and I'll go down the list and see if any were viewer sales. I am correct in remembering that. It was seven, so I'll read the notes from viewers. Uh, the first one is from Jeannie. She says, thanks, Rabbit. Love your videos. Reselling myself. Got this tablet as a gift for my granddaughter to keep her occupied while I spend some more time getting organized. JB Variety of Nifty Treasures. Stay safe. And then the other one was from a viewer who actually bought something uh, last week. 
uh, says, hey, Rabbit, I received the Nike sleeves and now I have to decide which one is for the left or right arm. Any advice? I have no idea. I think they go on either arm, but I'm really not sure. Uh, continues saying, forgot to ask for a signed resale Rabbit card in the last order, so please send one this time. Thanks. So I appreciate the sale, both of you. Let me show you why I love Pirate Ship. So this is one little feature. You click the check box on all of the items that are the same. And then on the top, get rates for however many labels you selected. So now we're gonna put the weight and dimensions for, they're all the exact same thing. So they're gonna be the same weight and dimensions. So we're gonna put that in. So we put the weight and dimensions in since they're all the same and get rates. And it's gonna get rates and print labels for all of them. It's really that quick. It will say right here, average label 885. Uh, and then I can change what I want there. Total of 61.94. And it's gonna print eight labels. My bad, seven labels. So I got them all ready to go here. And now all I have to do is uh, put this stuff in it. And just like that, we're all done. Now they don't need to be the exact same item. They just need to be the same weight and dimensions. If you've got two items that are the same dimensions, but one's a little heavier than the other, just go the heavier weight. It's not gonna change the shipping price if it's going cubic. You just need to make sure to write on the box the name of the person that it's going out to, if you do it that way, because, well, you wanna make sure each person's getting the right item. In this case, I didn't need to do that because each one is the same item. These are already bagged up, so I'm not gonna pull them out, but for 30 bucks, I sold a dress barn shirt and a pair of pajamas that came from an Amazon pallet. Next, we sold three of these. There are four in this box. So I'm gonna have to take one out and then ship it right in here. So what these are is that. I don't really have a picture. It's basically for, banis for banisters, railings. Um, it goes, it attaches the railing on. Um, so you got a top and a bottom, or a top and a bottom, I don't know. They bought three of them, which is odd. That would mean they have three railings. Usually they come in pairs. But anyways, sold for 30 bucks. Oh, and that came on the Lowe's pallets. I sold over here, learn Italian playing cards for $8.49. And then another person bought, let's see, it's in here somewhere. Here we go, a Bose remote for 15 bucks. Now we'll come over here. Um, I think it's in that box. Oh, we're caught. This is not a good way to store boxes because they catch on each other. Uh, let's see, I think it was this. A set of three phones for 69 something, 69.77, I think. Next, we've got a shirt. Let's see if it happens to be on top. Well, I know we sold that one, so I'm just gonna set that there. I might need to dig a little bit. It's an Oakland Raiders shirt. What's this? That's not Raiders. All right, I'm gonna pull this out and dig. There we go, ladies Oakland Raiders shirt, size small. This came on an Amazon pallet, sold for 14 bucks. Now we're looking for some batteries, Rayovac 675. Right here, four pack, sold for 10 bucks. And these came out of Shopco, I think. I got some of these at Shopco and some at Office Depot, so I don't know which was which. Sold an off-brand remote for a Denon receiver. This came on an Amazon pallet, sold for 8.99. Pair of red swim shorts, also from an Amazon pallet, sold for $18.59. $19.59, actually. Now time for a CD. They bought two of the exact same title. Something visionary. I think these are all the same. Yeah, those are all the same. There we go. They bought two of this for a total of 10, five bucks each. 
So this is that set of three cordless phones. Um, it's going to Seattle all the way across the country. It's over five pounds. Here's another reason pirate ship is great. So through eBay, it would cost $25.90 to ship. And this would not fit in a regional box. Uh, maybe a regional B, but that's going to put you at the same price, I think. Is there a regional B on this list? No, unfortunately. This is the uh, eBay shipping calculator, but it's going to be right in that area. It might be the exact same price. $25.90. It will not fit in a medium flat rate. Maybe a large flat rate, but that's, I think, around this price anyway. Here's Pirate Ship. Where is it? Right there, 1402. That's those cubic rates. Sure is nice. Of course, with Pirate Ship, you're really only saving money if you are shipping something priority mail. So it's over a pound, doesn't qualify for media, and it's going, it's going to be under a half of a cubic foot. If it's first class, it might even be more expensive than eBay. I've heard people say how certain items are more expensive on Pirate Ship than eBay. So first class, flat rate, uh, medium mail, over half a cubic foot, you might as well just ship with eBay. But when you're in that half a cubic foot, you save some decent money. That was like 11 bucks I saved right there. That's lunch. I just saved lunch. And um, the, big, the reason it saves so much is because it's going across the country. That's where your big cubic savings is as well, when it's going across the country or when it's really heavy but still fits in there. That was like the, it was perfect because it was going all the way across the country. It was a really heavy box. Five pounds is pretty heavy for a box that size. And it was under half a cubic foot, so save some decent money. So the first batch is done, including the tablets that I did earlier right there. That's 24 items shipped out. We've still got a lot to go, but now I've got an empty table. All right, let's take a walk in here because I skipped a whole bunch of orders that were in here. So let's get caught up on those. Uh, let's see. 2C1, the Boheme, sold for $9.98. 1G1, it's going to be all the way down here. We're looking for Dermacol Makeup Cover Film. Set this, and it's all the same color, right? I think so. Uh, well, no, because I've got two here, and it says I've only got one, so. Are these the same? Maybe his inventory levels are off. 999, nine, 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 no, these are two different ones. All right. So, let's see, number 210. Uh, 210, that's this one. Sold for 999. Next is 2B2. Grab my list. I just printed it, by the way, all of the sales. So we're looking for a made in form bra size 34C, uh, one, uh, 05101. 38, this came on an Amazon palette. Interesting. So I guess we have bras from other sources as well. That's motherhood. All right, hold on, let me see. There's no color at all listed on here. So 05101, let's just look for a 34C. This, is this the one I just looked at? I think so. That's a motherhood bra. 36B. Forty double D thirty four C is that what I said I'm looking for? Thirty four C and it's O five one oh one is the model. That's O five one oh three, so that is not it. What about this one? Thirty eight C This one has no tag. There's a tag in the picture. 38B. That's a motherhood bra. And it's Playtex. Okay, now I'm confused. Well, let's take another look. This wasn't even the one I was looking at. This is here. Oh, there we go. 05101 slash 103. Okay, so this bra 
sold for, why does it not say what it sold for? Maybe it's on the other page. It was on the other page. Sold for $12.50, and you can see it came on a Target pallet, so I would get 50 cents in it. Coming back over here in 1C1, we are looking for, a, sorry, 2C1, Boheme. So it's right here. So we've got a Boheme. They also, this person also brought, bought two bras. I can't talk today. One F2 is going to be, uh, let's see, where is the size? 34A. These are all Bs, double D, so probably this one, 34A. So that came off a of Target, paid 50 cents. And then they bought one more bra, which is going to be in 2A2. This box is almost empty. 2A2, right here. And we are going to be looking for a 34A9440 black. What color was A? I don't remember now. I know B is blue. Apparently C is yellow. Double D is purple. There we go, 34A, right, 34A, 94.40. So the makeup and these two bras sold for a total of 29. I paid 50 cents each for the bras. And is there an original price on here? 24. So I paid, hold on, a dollar and 20 cents for that. Next, in 1C3, I sold one of these for $14.98. Then we're gonna come over here. Are we caught in something? What's happening here? No? All right, we're gonna come over here. The last of the carburetors sold. Tim said they wouldn't sell. And that sold for nine bucks. And you know, not really a lot of viewer sales today. Maybe, uh, maybe they were all further down the list. Anyways, 2B1. Do you want to be one? Well, that's right there. We are looking for a 40D Playtex E515. It's one that's gonna be in the bag. So this is a 40D E515. So this sold for $16.99. And lastly, on this sheet, back to 1C3, sold another one of these. For twelve fifty, and that's all I've got on this sheet. So I got to go back and um, start pulling the next orders. Never mind. I had one more sheet that I missed. And first one, it's going to be another one of these for fourteen ninety eight. Next in one G one, I think it's the other one I grabbed two twelve, which is right here. Sold for nine bucks. Oh. And there, there it goes. And then, 1E4, we're looking for Versailles. I'm pretty sure that is this. Yeah, I remember this one's written on the inside. And this is, this is not Versailles, okay. Let me put the camera down interesting i wonder if i've grabbed the wrong box one e4 says one e4 so i wonder if these aren't all the same how many orders of these did i go through before i finally realized it's right there but this is the one i just had versailles and you can see this is not versailles this is it's actually chipped and it is royal tea so I'm going to go through these, open all of them, and make sure they're all the right one before we move on. That, what? That looks like a Styla product. Hold on. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Not sure why that was put in there. This is, do we have this one in stock? I'm going to have to look it up. 
Just glancing over here, I suppose. Uh, do not see this color in there. And I don't see this type in any other one. Yeah, it looks like I don't have this one in stock, so I'll just put this on the pile for Tim to add to list. Let's look at the rest of these. So I'm, I guess I'm fortunate that I was actually looking inside. I didn't realize that it said it on here when I was pulling orders the past couple of weeks. These are all Versailles. This is empty. It had that in it. And then these two are something else, despite saying Versailles on there. So it worries me about the other stuff. But this is really the only one that would be open because they just slide out. Also, it says I've got four left in stock. Obviously, there's more here, but I probably have more solds that I didn't get to on the list yet. Well, three of them are not the correct item, so it's a good timing that I found them. So we're going to pull this one. It's sold, and then I'm going to just delete the listing, and I'll relist it after I'm done shipping everything and have an accurate count. So this Bellissima, turns out I had it in stock and um, sold them all, so I was able to just relist that. There we go. All right, now that that's all over with, we've got another bra here. Now the bra and the Versailles, the correct Versailles, sold to a viewer who, actually they bought a third item. It's on the next page. Hold on. <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. Tim's inventory levels have been off on a lot of things. This is one of them. Looks like he put in a quantity of two. We only had one and it already sold at another time. Uh, so anyways, this viewer bought this bra, another one that doesn't exist, and this. Uh, and I dug through this entire box. There was not one in there. It is Karina. She says, Rabbit, I'm a viewer. Stay strong during these crazy times. Hopefully this can get under control and you can bring your staff back and continue business as usual. Thanks, Karina. I appreciate the sale. I'm going to wait to ship her order out until I'm done with everything. And then I'm going to do another inventory count and see if maybe another one of these bras he mistook the size or something obviously if i don't find it and i glanced through the other boxes and didn't see it um might have to refund her on that one uh so if i do refund you on that one karina i certainly apologize for it and i will be sending you a message beforehand before you see this video anyways but moving on to the next sale i'll just set these aside for now all right, next sale, I think is gonna be this. I can drop both the item and my phone. Uh, size three X's came on an Amazon pallet, sold for 15 bucks. And this TomTom Tom GPS sold for only 11. Um, these are not what they used to be. So taking a quick break, I ran across town. Supposedly this unit is emptied out. Let's check. And it is empty. Look at that, he even swept it all into a pile, all the stuff on the floor. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a broom with me, so I may need to come back and do that. But So I had, I don't know if I mentioned, I posted this on Facebook Marketplace. This is all the stuff that was going to Goodwill. Someone said they'd come pick it up. So it took them two days to do it, a little longer than promised, but I'm not complaining because two days to get it emptied out and no work on my part is better than waiting 30 days for Goodwill to reopen and then several hours of work on my part. So all that's left is this, which is the uh, tenant's personal pictures and whatnot. So I can get this unit off the books. So I got a sale, is not on my list from earlier. Um, so this is gonna be, this doesn't go towards the 100 or 80 items, 2000, whatever the total was. Um, it's this, it's a box full of digital cameras. The reason I'm pulling this right now, now these are all either untested or defective. We listed the whole box and it sold for 94 bucks. Now the reason I'm pulling it now is because the buyer is actually local. Oh, and they asked me to refund the shipping. It was 94 plus like 40 bucks shipping. They asked me to refund the shipping, they'll pick it up. So they could be here anytime. So I wanna show you guys now what this sale is. My bad, 94.49 plus 23 shipping is what they paid. This is just the ones that weren't worth putting on Amazon. There might be some that are defective and I know it's defective just by looking at it. I'm trying to see if there's an example here. 
something where you can look. Oh, look at this tiny little camera. Look at this thing. This is so tiny. All right. Like this, this DXG brand is not going to be anything on Amazon. This probably isn't. I don't know. I don't know what the story is. Some of these also could be cameras that I would normally send to Amazon. It's just not worth it uh, to order batteries and chargers. Like this one, I would need to order a charger. And this is just a random example. Um, but it's not worth the cost to order a charger to send to Amazon. So I just throw it in the box. It's also possible I didn't want to clean all that up. That also could be why I put it in here. Handycam. I, I don't know what the story is with that. I think I do remember this one. What's going on here? I think this wouldn't stay closed. Oh, I can't do that with one hand. So you, you get the idea. Like this, not worth anything on Amazon. So we're doing, there are also some 35 millimeter cameras in here, at least according to the listing there. I think this is one of them. Probably bought it in a lot, and it's, there's no Amazon listing for that particular one. I probably bought it a lot for a different camera. So, well, he's picking these up, so I can take these out. I don't need to ship them. So I'll have this set aside for him. All right, I'm going to drop this off at the post office so I don't overwhelm them. My back seat is full. And then I have to run a Target. So that's what I'm going to do now. Cameras were just picked up. So that's taken care of, and then I refunded his shipping for him. We'll come back and get the next run in a moment. So I went to Office Depot, I don't know, about a week ago to pick up toner. I have not, beyond that, I have not been in a store in weeks. So I'm curious to see what it looks like inside of here. They closed one entrance off and supposedly they're limiting the number of people in the door, but there isn't a line outside or anything, so. Although the parking lot is pretty empty. Well, aisles are still pretty full of food. I'm seeing a mix. Some people wearing masks, some people not really doing anything at all. I've got my gloves on. So out of curiosity, I'm circling the store because I know some stores have been actually not allowing you to buy non-essential items. The lady back there looking at the most essential item at all, decorative fake flowers. Definitely need to go out in public for that right now. So everything's open for buying right now. I bet you'd find some good deals on the clearance rack, but I don't need to stick around for that. I'm gonna grab my energy water, and I'm gonna go to the post office. Hey, the rack of greeting cards are gone. All right, let's bring this in. All right, pulling more orders. Next sale for $20.50, a pair of shoes and a Portofino uh, Styla, what is this, lipstick? Liquid lipstick. Next, I accidentally accepted this offer. I shouldn't have 10 bucks for this in a size large. My cost was five and it's gonna cost like 7.50 a ship. So uh, yeah, they got a good deal. My mistake. So I got distracted again. I'm sick of digging through these baskets and then these five, four bins. I have no, I'm just guessing, oh, it could be in any one of them. These were when Tim first started, the first items he listed. So this was before we did any sort of organization. I already pulled a whole bunch of stuff out of this one and put it in a basket right there. I did this the other day. This is the, uh, the fanny packs. Um, so it's only those fanny packs in there. And then this one I pulled, when I, when I grabbed that Oakland Raiders shirt, I pulled all of the team jersey shirts out. The jersey shirts, because the sleeves have that jersey look to it. So those are all separated out. So that's a start, but I'm still sick of looking. So here's what I did. These are all in the same bin that they were before, but I added a uh, location ID to each one. It's on shelf K2. Bin one, two, and three. And then I just dumped them on the table, searched for the item in my inventory, and added the custom SKU. It took about 10 minutes to do those three. There weren't a lot of items in each one. But now, maybe another 30 items, 30, 40, 50 items, now have a location on them. And they're going to be easier to find when they sell. 
So finally found this shirt, sold for $20.99, a Jacksonville Jaguars hoodie, probably going to Jason Mendoza. What is all of this hair from? All right, anyways, so that came, uh, I'm assuming on an Amazon pallet. The reason it took so long to find is because I figured it was going to be one of these bins. So I got these two done as well. Again, I3, I2, so it's going to be I4. I don't know if it's marked though. Is it? Oh, it is marked. I4, then bin one, two, and eventually we'll get that one three. Although there isn't a lot in here, so that shouldn't be too difficult. This is really the only one that's going to be, that's still a real pain because this is full. This one you can see isn't very full. And this one here is full, but they all have this. This is when I did the swimsuits. I gave them each a number so I'll know where they are. You know, this has been AA. This one too, been, this one's been A, AA. So this is really the only one that needs to get done soon. I might do it today, I don't know. All right, where is this thing gonna be? Right here. So I originally had stored here and then when he rearranged stuff, when he organized it, he didn't move it too far. Uh, sold for $12.19, $12.19. This is the last of these, came on the Lowe's pallets. Correction, $16.19 is what it sold for. Next, sold this dress barn shirt, $19.99. Retail is $45, and I paid a buck. Next, we sold a keychain right here. This is, again, what it looks like. And it sold to a viewer. Let me grab this here. It says, hey, Resale Rabbit, thanks for accepting my offer. I remember when you bought these, and I thought they would never sell. And here I am buying one. I hope your business stays afloat after all this craziness. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you for all the great videos and the inspiration. Also, could I get a signed card? Thanks. That was purchased by Gary. Gary, I appreciate the purchase. We'll get you a signed card, get this shipped out for you. Next, for 15, I just saw this up here, right here. A felt insert bag. So I guess this goes in your purse. So you can organize it. It must be for a very large purse, I think. And it just says, uh, insert bag organizer for handbag purse. And there's that with Velcro on it, so it must stick in there. So this sold for 15, came on an Amazon pallet. Sold some ink. It's going to be a three pack of loose cartridges, 27 and 28, probably right here. 27 and 28. I have no clue where these came from. I don't remember picking them up recently. Um, I don't know. Uh, these sold to a viewer, Deanna. That name may sound familiar, and in her note, she explains why. She says, and yes, it's the same Deanna. So thanks again, Deanna. She's purchased a few things in the past week. I certainly appreciate the sale. Next, for a total of $37.99, we sold two PlayStation 2 memory cards and a case of these sheet protectors. That is what they look like. So, hopefully, oh, I'm about to lose that. Hopefully, I'm able to fit the memory cards in this box because I usually ship right in the box. I'm pretty sure that was a viewer. So the buyer left a note uh, a little bit about the order, uh, but finished saying, also love the channel and hope you're dealing with this virus safely. So that was, let me get the name here, Margaret. Margaret, I appreciate the sale. I really hope I'm able to fit those in there, but it's packed tightly. I may need to rebox it. Oh, we're getting so organized. So I showed you this already. Now I did these. There were a couple of items on the top shelf that I wanted to do. I was looking for something. So of course, while I was looking for something, I was adding an inventory system to it. And then over here, this box was right there and it was filled to the max. We split it between this one, this one, and then a couple of items went up on shelves. So uh, this is all pretty organized now. It's not gonna be too hard to find stuff in this area. You know, like we added some of the green shorts here. And one thing I did, I've got these green shorts in like five different sizes. Well, there's one size coming over here. There's another size. There's another size. And the reason I did that is you've seen me sitting there, dig through the pile, trying to find the right size. If I have them on three different shelves, then the only ones on A3 
are going to be a size 0P. The only ones on A1 are going to be a double 0P. Coming over here, the only ones on K3 are going to be a 2P. The only ones over here, you get the picture, on C1 are going to be a 4P. Uh, so that way, they're, they're easier to grab. I'm not sifting through trying to find the size. I'm not going to redo all these other ones like that. But I will tell Tim, hey, that might be a good idea to do it this way. It'll be easier to find the items, uh, oddly, by separating them. So anyways, with that, I found the item that was missing. Completely forgot what the price was, though. $19.99. Right here. These Apartment 9 shorts. Now, these are a Kohl's brand. I am pretty sure I got these in a storage unit. You may want to correct me. If I did, you might have seen it. I'm pretty sure these came out of a storage unit. I think it was actually the one that I just emptied out, too. So for $19.99. Next, we've got a yearbook, but not a real yearbook. It's a pretend yearbook. Oh, here it is. This is a reprint of a high school yearbook. Uh, that is not part of the reprint, but it does have... Like, they just got a book... And uh, why can't I open to an example here? They just got a book and scanned it, so it's going to have signatures and everything. Um, wouldn't be too hard to figure out what the name of the person was who originally had this book. But anyways, this came on an Amazon pallet. Sold for, I think, nine bucks? Nine bucks. I grabbed this earlier when looking for the, Ra uh, the Raiders one. We've got a Saints shirt here i'll open it up so you can see kind of what these look like i've got a whole bunch of different teams they are ladies nfl shirts they've got kind of a, a jersey look to the sleeves uh, and they have the team name some of them have the logo with the name so this sold for i don't know 15 bucks let me check wow what a guess 15 bucks and we sold a pair of shoes and a dress. This came on an Amazon pallet. These cost me 50 cents on a Target pallet for 34 or something. Hold on. 34.38. And it was a viewer sale. Uh, let's see. It says, hey, Rabbit, enjoy your videos. And I wish I lived closer to come to your warehouse sales. Just a, lo just a little something to help you along in this crazy time. Be safe and keep at it. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you like the shoes and the dress. We'll get them shipped out for you. Now back in here, first we're looking for 1BM, 1B1, uh, Molten Midnight. 1B1, looks like we got a whole bunch of these. This sold for $11.99. Next we've got 1C1 uh, Rose or Sienna, could be either one. 1C1. Sienna, there we go. Uh, he has, I don't know if this is from the factory or what, but he's got both a description of the color and the actual color. So that sold for $14.99. Next in 1G4, that's going to be the very last one, we've got a 40C bra. It just says made in form. It doesn't actually have the model or anything. So that's got to be this one. Odd that the model isn't on there. It would be SE5757. Let's just double check there isn't another 40C in here that could throw us off. My printout is in black and white, so I can't see what color it is. Nope, so it's got to be that one. So this bra sold for uh, $14.99. And again, I paid $0.50 cents on the Target palettes. Next, in 1G2... We're looking for the 11.0 shade, which is right here. And this sold for $14.99. Next, 1E3, we're looking for a lipstick. Let's just get the 1E3. It says Beauty Bakery. So... There aren't, I don't see any Beauty Bakery lipsticks. Where am I here? New Beauty Bakery Lip Whip Matte Lipstick. Is this a Laura Geller, right? Yeah. These are, oh, here we go. 
So this one is, you know what, this is the same type as what we had before. So let's make sure we've got the right color here. What color are we looking for? She's just jolly. She's just jelly. Same thing, I just read it wrong. She's just jelly. I thought it was a Christmas one. Having a holly jolly Christmas. Anyways, it's sold for nine bucks. All right, next we've got 2C1. Let's put this away. And in 2C1, 2C1, that's going to be Boheme. I keep reaching through for this one. I don't know why. Slip that over. Uh, which sold for $9.98. Then in 2B1, still over here. We've got a couple of sales out of here. We're looking for 44, oh, this is the same buyer, bought two of these, 44D, uh, one is M49, they're both M493, okay. One is white and one is sand shell pink. A lot of people are, have been saying that Tim needs to work on the factory colors on these. He's listing them right, like sand shell pink. I'm just calling them pink or like the maroon ones earlier. I think they're in here. No, here maybe. Oh, I can't get it out. Those I called red. He's actually got the right color on the listing. I just said red because it's easier. All right, anyways, 44D in pink and in white. This one is 38 double D. And they may look off on the, on the camera too, but these are pink. You can see the difference here between the pink and the tan. Uh, let's see. Tag. Where is the tag? 40C. Is that what I said we need? No, we need 44D. I don't know where I got 40C. 38 double. 40C. 38 double. 44D. Is that what I needed? 44D. All right, so there's one. Uh, the other one is white. That's a 42C. That's also a 42C. And that might be all I have for white ones. Is this? 44D. Here we go. So these two, and we'll make sure we get the right model. M493. And M493. So these two sold for a combined $29.98. They cost me 50 cents each on the Target pallets. Next, we want one C3. We sold this. It says there's one available. Yep, right there. So we sold this style of product for $14.98. And then back to 2B2. We are looking for... A made in form 38C SE6990 in white. So 38C in white. 38C in white, and the model is SE6990. All right, this bra sold for $12.75, and again, paid 50 cents for it. And lastly, in 2A4, we're looking for. Uh, Laura Geller Spackle Supreme Lip Primer. Two, uh, we're in the wrong spot. Two A one. And that might be this one that I couldn't figure out the other day. There we go. And this sold for. Oh, they bought one more item. Hold on, let's grab that. I don't know why. I thought there were, uh, this was with something else. That's just on its own. And then the order I was thinking of is, let's see, it's gonna be over here. Three of these water filters. Why do they have different numbers? I don't know. Are they the same? I'll pull them out and take a look. I think they're the same. So three of these filters, 
for what seems really cheap to me. So I'm gonna have to look at what my, my original price is, but for $34.17. I guess I have these listed at $11.39, regular price. So $34.17 for the three of these, and it's a viewer. Uh, let's see, Thomas says, no rush on shipping, just put a filter in my new system. Feel free to ship the least expensive way possible for you. It's only coming from Green Bay to Milwaukee. You know what? That's just a buyer's note. They're not necessarily a viewer. So anyways, uh, we'll get these shipped out. I don't think that was a viewer. I think they just left a note being nice. Wow, I missed one. Hold on. This. Remember this? The 11.0. That was a viewer sale. Deborah. She says, enjoy your videos. Thanks for staring. Thanks for sharing. Stay safe, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit. Sincerely, Beach Creek. So, Beach Creek, Deborah, I appreciate the sale. Did I see another one on there? Uh, looks like she also got this. So, I don't know how I missed the viewer sale. I'm... Did I, did I miss another one? Hold on. Boheme. Yes, that one too. I'm going to have to scroll back through here. Uh, this one, the one where I was supposed to reach through and didn't. Also a viewer sale, and I'm glad I caught this, because she says, Hello, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. I'm leaving this message to hear you say, I certainly appreciate you purchase. So I'm very thankful that you purchased this from me. All right. I'm going to check to make sure I didn't miss any more viewer sales here. All right, I've got that round shipped out. I have a feeling I'm not getting everything shipped out. It's already 5.30. I will be able to get everything that I printed off this morning, the... What was it 84 85 87 whatever the number total number was but i've had many several orders come in today probably another 20 orders come in today i just don't think i'm gonna have time for it all but that's not a big deal because i can do it tomorrow this is a whole weekend's worth of stuff here so i can do today and tomorrow's worth tomorrow well technically just today's worth anyways next this next sale first we're looking for something with a brand called allegrance it's a black, I don't know if it's a shirt or a dress. It's tough to tell in the picture. Uh, that is the, oh, falling off. Okay, let me fix this. That wasn't it, by the way. The picture where it's tough to tell is the black and white printout that I have. All I know is it says hanging. Allegrance, here we go. So we've got this shirt. And then they also bought something else, which might be in with the auto parts. I don't see it in here. So let's go back by the auto parts. Now, if you remember, the auto parts aren't actually cataloged. Like we don't have any shelf locations on the listing or anything. We just kind of put them here because they weren't moving fast. And so we shoved them back here to get them out of the way. And I don't, oh, apparently this doesn't go all the way over. Well, I suppose it's close. I'm not seeing it back here. Should be a light green, like a teal colored box, kind of like this, but it'll be a square, maybe more that size. All right, well, maybe it's not back here. I'm just kind of assuming that's the box. He used a stock photo on this one, so I'm not completely sure what it looks like. No, that's not it. You guys see it? Let me know if you see it. It'll probably be a little late because it has to get shipped out today. And I'm not going to hear from you for a while because you guys take forever to respond. I'll say something here and then I won't get a response until tomorrow when the video's posted. Hmm. Oh, wait, I see it. It's hiding under these traps. Right here. So this is a solar floodlight. And for these two items, they paid 41 bucks. Now this came on an Amazon pallet. And this, I'm assuming, probably came on a different Amazon pallet. So these two are ready to go. Look at that. We're out of stock on the cases of sheep protectors. Clearly we're not. We're pretty full up over here. Looks like he shoved some down there. And there might even still be some. You know, I don't know. I don't know if he took them all down or not. Let's go take a look. Nonetheless, there are going to be a lot more. Uh, yeah, he got them all. They were stacked up right there. 
So anyways, the reason it says we're out of stock is because when I listed it, I didn't have an exact count, so I just put in a random arbitrary number. So we're gonna have to relist that. Also worth note, we've sold 33 of them. So two of them sold for 74.84. It was a viewer who says, hey, just wanna make sure you saw the message that I sent with the offer. I've been watching your videos for years now, and I wanna let you know that I find them relaxing to watch after a long day of work. Can you please open one of the cases and sign one of the packs and or include a signed card? It'd be cool to have your signature. Hope things get better soon. Gabriel, P.S. That mannequin head still freaks me out every time I see it. Maybe give it a hat or some shades. Gabriel, I wonder if this is, there was a Gabriel who bought a few cases of these in the past. I wonder if it's the same person. Nonetheless, um, I'm glad he left a comment on the purchase as well as the offer because I've mentioned in other videos, when you leave a comment on the offer, once I accept or counter that offer, the comment disappears. So I don't get to see it anymore. So glad he left that here. So we'll get a signed card for you and uh, we'll get these shipped out. I appreciate the sale. So I figured out why he's got these notes on here. It wasn't really necessary to continue on with them just in the first few. In the beginning, he wasn't putting the box ID in the listing. He was just putting this number or that number in it. And we were supposed to go down the list and try and find it. I'm so glad he doesn't do that anymore. Because having the box ID means we know exactly what box to look into. We've got quite a few boxes up here. I think like 15 of them or something like that. So that's why he did that. $23.99. It is a romper, a floral romper. Came from Dress Barn. Retail on it was $60. It looks like they dropped the price to $47. I paid a buck. Uh, it was a viewer sale. Mackenzie says, hey, Rabbit, glad I found something cute to get. I hope you're not too bored and everything ends up okay. Well, if these orders keep coming in, I don't have time to be bored. I appreciate the sale, Mackenzie. For $8.64, I sold another pack of Learn Italian playing cards. And this went to a viewer. Uh, let's see. Chris, he says, hi, Resale Rabbit. Enjoy your videos, though I have to admit that I always watch them at double speed so I can fit more in. My favorites tend to be your dollar sale videos when you question humanity. Be, be well and good luck in the isolation, Chris. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate the sale. And no problem. Go double speed. Go triple speed. If, well, I don't think you can go that fast. Uh, double speed makes it sound like I talk really, really fast in a really, really high voice. So if, you talk, if you're watching it on double speed right now, this is probably really, really, really difficult to understand. So he probably had to slow that part down. Anyways, uh, it makes the if you don't like the long videos, that's one way to shorten them. All right, so thanks, Chris. Next sale. We're looking for 1B. I don't see that on any of these. These are all the JBT. Oh, there we go. Here's some more. Oh, it's still not on here. Probably this one. Let's double check. So this is Explore 502, but yep, 502. Okay, so this is it. Uh, sold for 15 bucks. Hold another Yamaha shirt. I showed this on probably the last video. I bought a whole bunch of these for three bucks each at uh, Port Washington St. Vinny's. A whole bunch of them. And this was like a year and a half ago. Spent probably a good 60, 65 bucks. And finally sold the first one the other day. And this is the second one to sell. $2.99 is what I paid. It's a genuine Yamaha part. It's a shirt, size large. And um, no note from a viewer. No note sayings from a viewer. Wait, where did I get this from? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hit the wrong spot. No note sayings from a viewer. But uh, if it is, I appreciate it. All right. We're looking for shelf C5, which is going to be this one. A dress size 0X. That is, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I think I sold one the other day. Uh, let's take a walk over here. I also think this was a viewer sale. I have to double check. I want to make sure we've got the right size here. Where is the neck? That is not the neck. Is this the neck? There we go. Zero X. All right. And this was, yes, it was from a viewer, Melissa. She says, the family, I love your videos. So nice to see your community stepping up and supporting you as best as we can during this difficult situation. Can I get a signed card? Absolutely, Melissa. And I have said it many times before. You know, I really don't expect you guys to, to come in and buy stuff from me, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you do. 
it really means a lot. These have been in stock for quite some time now. I'm pretty sure these were the very first shoes from the Target, the very first item from the Target palettes, the palettes that I listed. A pair of shoes paid 50 cents and sold for $19.99. Decent sale. They're kind of neat looking shoes. Sold the very last size eight in black. Where is it hiding? Oh, I grabbed it. I literally touched it and then didn't see it. Uh, again, paid 50 cents on the Target palettes. Two of these, one for $39.99, one for $35.99. One was to a viewer, so I'll read their comment in a second. This is shampoo and conditioner that came on the Walmart palettes. The viewer sale of the two was Donna. She says, hey, Mr. Rabbit, love the channel. Keep the videos coming. It really helps with our forced lockdown. Hopefully it does. I know I watch a lot of YouTube right now, which helps with my forced lockdown. So I uh, appreciate the sale, Donna. Next sale, they bought several items. First, they bought a pair of shorts, which is not in here, unless it, wait. There's the pink ones. Maybe it is these. Yeah, I think that is it. So, put that back up. So these shorts, which again, one of the first things I listed from the Target Palace, paid 50 cents. Oh, good thing I didn't list these. And when I was sorting those bins, I saw this was not listed in stock. I didn't think it wouldn't be listed in stock because, oh, maybe it's sold. So anyways, this is the second item they bought. And the third, the third is a Levi's Denizen size 30. It is not these though. Or those. Or those. What about these? Is it these? Could be these. All right, this is the right style. Is this the right size? Yes, it is. So this pair of shorts, the so two pairs of shorts and a pair of pants. And those sold for a combined $46.97. Next sale is this Burton raincoat, which actually feels like a really nice coat. I might need to look to see if there's one in my size in here. Uh, sold for $53.99. Burton Seymour rain jacket dry ride. It was a viewer sale. Uh, he says, where is it? Will. He says, hey, Rabbit, lived in Green Bay back in the 70s when I was in high school. I miss Kroll's hamburgers. Kroll's hamburgers are amazing. Give my daughter a shout out, Rebecca. Uh, give my daughter a shout out, Rebecca. Donkey Kong shirt lady. So she purchased a couple of items on the last video. Uh, he says, we watch your channel every day. Go East High Red Devils, class of 71. Best regards, Will. Well, Will. Well, Will. I appreciate the sale. And uh, we'll get this out. Hopefully it keeps you dry. It's April, so there's going to be a lot of rain coming up. I'm sure you get good use of it. And the last of these Transformers toys sold. $41.99. It is not old. It was probably at Walmart relatively recently. It's a tape deck, not a real tape deck. It's got a pretend tape that goes in. Uh, someone mentioned on a comment when I found out that this is a remake of a classic toy. So $41.99, I think it's kind of neat. Bummer, I just looked in my inventory. Uh, that Burton uh, dry ride jacket, I only have large and XL. I'm a size small, so that's not gonna, I don't have one. Oh well, wow, according to this listing, original price is $179. 95 and I will not spend that much on one. Honestly, I'm too cheap to even spend the 50 bucks on one that I, that I charge for it. Um, all right, next sale, another viewer sale. Kevin bought another one of these keychains, and I suppose I can show you again what it looks like. And he says, hold on, he says, like your video every day, I hope you come out of this mess. Good luck. Thanks, Kevin, I appreciate the order. Another case of sheep protectors to another viewer. If we can be sold out of these by the end of the week, I'd be so happy. I'll have so much more space. I'm just going to set it on top of this one, and I will read the comment. They were purchased by Glenn, uh, who says, Thanks for the offer. I love your videos and learn a lot from them. Hope you can make it through this whole pandemic thing. Stay safe and well. Thanks, Glenn. Hope they work out well for you. Here is another sale, a viewer sale. These dress barn pants and tailor, actually. 
original retail looks like it's not on there uh and then this evening jacket which is so cool 54.95 i paid a buck each and they're going to a viewer who paid 31.98 for the pair the whole ensemble uh and says hey it's Jaden from a couple of purchases ago what's your favorite fast food now that is a loaded question because there are so many Right now, I, I would say my favorite fast food, if I could only pick one fast food place to eat the rest of my life, I can't have anyone else, it would probably be McDonald's. It's a classic. It's my, I, I eat at McDonald's at least once a week. I love that place. <clears throat> but if I'm out of town looking for a treat, I'm looking for Steak and Shake. They have awesome burgers. I love their, they've got like garlic sliders and then the patty melt I get every time. Oh man, I'm getting hungry thinking about it. We don't have Steak and Shake here, and I love Steak and Shake. Whenever I travel, I try to go there. Another place that I go a lot when I travel, White Castle. We don't have that here. Boston Market. We don't have that here. Um, up until recently, we didn't have Jersey Mike's. That was one of my favorites. That's probably my favorite sandwich shop, but now we have one here. Um, Forenza opened here. They're a pizza place that's kind of like Subway, where they make it in front of you, and you choose all. It was like $7.99 for a personal pizza, unlimited toppings. And it was amazing. It went about, lasted about two years and then went under, which really was a shame because I think it's one of my favorite pizza places in the country. But I would consider that fast food. Uh, big fan of Chipotle, but they're so expensive. I usually get a burrito and a bowl, uh, and I'm spending like 22 bucks for one meal. I want to spend 22 bucks. I don't really need fast food. I'll go to a nice sit down or something, or what I consider a nice sit down. 22 bucks will get me a meal at like, a decent restaurant not a fancy restaurant but a decent restaurant uh taco bell is one that i go to quite often i would probably still say mcdonald's though is my number one so i hope that answers your question Jaden. and i certainly appreciate the repeat business oh, all right now we're gonna, gonna do something important here all this talk about food makes me starving let's go into my office here grab a piece of candy i saved a whole bunch of those uh, from my holiday buyout from Target. These things are awesome. I love just the basic milk chocolate ones. All right, we're in the home stretch. $18.70, sold this. It's kind of neat. These, uh, it plays music and these guys dance. It's from the 90s. Found it in a storage unit. It was actually a storage unit with all the vintage clothing. I don't know what made me look it up. But I looked up and saw it was going for some money. Could have got more if I waited until Christmas, but it does take up space on the shelf. So I accepted the offer. And this was to a viewer who I'm pretty sure bought something the other day as well. Uh, Nathan, he says, watch your current video. Glad you're staying busy during the shutdown. And you can keep busy cleaning out storage units. Thanks, Nathan. Hope you enjoy it. I thought it was pretty cool. Same story here. I pulled these to be relisted because I thought they weren't listed. Uh, these are Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. Uh, purchased by Hope, who is a viewer. She spent 15 on them, and she says, Thanks for the videos. Can't wait to see the next one. Stay safe. Hope, I certainly appreciate it. Let me look at the tag. Okay, this was a dress barn one. Uh, I had some that came out of Shopco, too. I don't know if I'm sold out on those or not. In fact, over here... These white ones that I showed earlier, these came out of Shopco, and I spent 2% uh, of that. It was 2% of 20. A buck? I, no, that would be 5%. I don't know. 40 cents? 40 cents, I think that's right. All right, next sale. This is one that I'm trying to stop doing because honestly, I'm getting too many returns on these. Two untested camcorders. Um, they sold for a combined, hold on, 38 bucks. Uh, I've done this before and gotten them returned. Uh, looks like one includes the battery. We've got no chargers. I don't know why we listed them on eBay. They probably didn't have an Amazon listing or something. Uh, but they're untested, sold for 38 bucks. Speaking of things I'm not going to do anymore, remember in the last video, I sold one of those amputee shoes, meaning it's a single shoe. There's no pair for it. There's no match for it. And I said, it seems like almost every single one of them, there's a problem. They return it. They complain. They didn't read the listing. And then this one was sold. 
And I said, I bet this is going to get returned. And not an hour or two after I shipped it out, they said, hey, I want to cancel this. I didn't realize it was only one shoe. I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm removing all the amputee shoes. I've got virtually nothing invested in them. I figured maybe we can make a couple bucks off of them and keep them out of the landfill because I could not find anybody to take them uh, as a donation. But it's too much headache and these returns cost me money because I refund the shipping too. So I'm just gonna pull them and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm getting rid of them. I'm not gonna deal with that anymore. But anyways, how did I get, oh, I expect those camcorders to get returned too. And we sold two more of these. So I relisted it with 20, leaving me a few extra. I might need to uh, rethink that. I think I counted 26 and then listed 20. But anyway, sold two of these. I'm pretty sure it was a viewer. They didn't make a note in there, but I, I don't remember. Well, I think the offer was from a few days ago. So if you're a viewer, I appreciate it. We're in the home stretch. Sold another three of these are from earlier in the video so i'm gonna have to pop this box open and pull one out again and there goes that these are for your railings to go on the top and bottom and the three of them sold for a total of 44.97 home stretch guys we are almost done all right we're starting with 1b1 uh let's see molten moonlight that, I believe, is this. No, that's Vivid Sapphire. Molted Moonlight. I pulled one of those already. I should know that by now. Uh, this sold for $11.99. Next, we've got in 2C1, another, but why is this sliding on its own? Another Boheme sold for $9.98. Looks like we got $29 left down in there. All right, and then we've got one G2. Right here, we are looking for uh, Guava. So is that Styla brand? Yes, Guava. Where do I see it? Yep, sold for, for 10 bucks, and this sold to a viewer who says, Hi, Rabbit, thank you for the video. Really enjoy them during these times. If you can, please sign the card. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. I appreciate the sale. We'll get that shipped out for you. And is that it? That's it. <sighs> I am out of breath from all this. I've basically been talking nonstop all day. I got in probably about 9, 10 o'clock. It's 6.13 p.m. So I am going to get this last batch shipped out, and then I'm going to make a judgment call if I want to ship today's orders or not. We'll see. Um, so, we'll see what happens. So I'm shipping these out, and I think I may have missed one, a viewer. This Boheme, uh, it was purchased by Miranda. She says, you, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. Thanks for keeping the videos coming. They're helping keep whatever sanity I have left intact. So thanks, Miranda. I don't remember if I read this or not. So uh, if I did, I read it twice. If not, there it is. All right, so remember this order from earlier in the video. It was the lipstick, the Versailles, and two bras, and I could not find the other bra. Well, unfortunately, I had to uh, refund her for that. Here's what I did. I already sent her a message and told her what I'm doing, and um, I just want to tell you guys so you know kind of how to handle a situation like this. So I, told, I refunded her the $10 she paid for the black bra, the one that's missing. So she's refunded on that. She didn't have to pay a dime for it. She did buy these two. I told her I'm going to throw in another lipstick, same, same color she purchased and everything, free of charge for her inconvenience. So, you know, it's about customer service. Basically, what I did is she got a free lipstick because we lost, couldn't find the item that she bought. Now, the other thing is, remember, there were four of these left. I looked. None of them sold today. We still have four left. So I don't know why the other two were even in here. I couldn't find the other two, the odd ones out, on eBay at all in my listing. So I don't know what the story is there. While I was shipping this stuff out, I've been watching Craigslist Hunter and Shed Flips. And um, Craigslist Hunter had an issue on 
a recent video. It wasn't his last one. It was the one before that. Um, so probably by the time you see this, maybe three videos ago. Um, anyways, he had a viewer sale and he couldn't find the item. He said Vicky and uh, Nick, I think, spent three hours digging around each box looking for it. And they had to cancel the sale. So at least I feel a little bit more comfortable with this, not just me. Craigslist Hunter is the real pro when it comes to this. So if he's losing an order, then I can feel comfortable losing one myself. So we're all shipped out. We sold a lot of those sheet protectors. So all of this, as well as that stack right there in the white box, um, all of this sold over the weekend. Plus the four bins that I brought to the post office already today. I'm not going to be able to bring all these in. Um because it's 7.51, it's 8 p.m. Uh, so I have to use the Dropbox, so I can only do the small ones. Basically everything except for the sheet protectors should be able to go out. It's not a big deal if those don't go out until tomorrow. They were supposed to go out today, but I had them listed as first class. They're going priority, so they're gonna get there sooner anyway, so we'll still be on target. But now I had sales today 25 orders for 682. One of those was the cameras and the guy picked them up earlier. So I just marked that as shipped. And now we've got 24 orders for 581. Now I've been shipping for the past 10 hours. That doesn't include, or in that 10 hours, I also ran to Target, ran to the post office, went and checked on that storage unit and then sorted some of those boxes back there. But it's 8 p.m. There is absolutely no way I'm shipping those 24 orders out tonight. Now, because they were ordered today, they don't have to go out until tomorrow. So you're just going to have to look forward to that on tomorrow's video. Also, I suppose it's kind of late now for me to say it since the video will already... I'm not going to be uploading this video on time. It's 8 p.m. I'm starving. I still got to drop this off. I'm not going to be home till 9. So, um, yeah, I'm not editing this video tonight. So I'm going to be a day behind on videos probably until the weekend because i don't work on weekends so that's today's video um i'm sure there were some viewers who i missed um didn't get comments on or maybe just missed them all together i appreciate every one of you you guys have been really stepping up helping us out uh 2000 in sales over the weekend another 600 700 during today this is amazing and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll keep doing these as long as you guys like them. They're very exhausting to edit because right after shipping all this stuff out, I have to go watch myself ship it all out again. It takes me an hour long video. will probably take me about two hours to edit one of these videos at least. So to give you an idea. So I have to spend two hours tomorrow watching, my watching myself ship all the stuff that I shipped today. It's really boring. But anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.